join us. It's day 13 of Dixie's program. Finn has joined her. This is day three of them working together. We are here at Meeks Park in Blairsville, Georgia. And later on, we're headed to downtown Blairsville. I've switched from two four foot leashes to a six foot leash with a split attachment. And here we go with that. Follow command, follow. boardwalk is a very narrow so it's really great uh, to perfect the turns in a tight area so we're going to be doing a lot of turns so here we go Bella. Bella. 
Switch from follow to the Dixie Fin Hill. bills is anybody drop a dollar <laughs> cheers
No, no, not no, at all. <laughs> I see the camera, I just see no. Yeah, I'm training, so when I'm out, I'm here for distractions, people, dogs, balloons. <laughs>
and Finn are in their release command in anticipation of our uh, outing for training later on. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little warm up right now, uh, putting on their uh, split attachment connector with a six foot leash, working on uh, follow and heel, walking as two dogs. Wait. Giving her the hand signal for sit. Good girl, Dixie. We go with follow. Dixie, then follow. Looking for the same parameters as if they were walking as uh, single dogs. Turn when I turn, visually check in, and a nice loose leash with a lot of uh, slack. Here we go again with our follow. Nice tight turns for neural places out in public. I sort of equate walking with the dog as, as dancing and that's what uh, gives me joy is a good dog that knows how to walk and keep up but in a very nice way. Change of pace. Notice no tripping on my part. They're in tune with me. Walking as one. And when my feet stop in the follow command, I can stand or sit. I go into the heel. So let's continue with our hip command. Finn, Dixie, heel. And Dixie likes to save energy, so if I don't move very far, notice how she didn't come out of her sit to get a line into the heel position. Um, that's Dixie, and that's what we're working on today. Dixie heel, here she comes. Dixie heel. So I'm prompting her a little bit by using her name and the command. Dixie heel. Dixie heel. And that gets around uh, that particular problem of her remaining in a sit position as I start to move away uh, from distance in the circle. She has it all figured out. Dixie heel. Dixie heel. see on that movement that her and uh, that Dixie and Finn switched uh, positions, Finn is now on the outside. So when you're walking, you're going to have the dogs moving from the inside close to your leg to the outside, but they work that out. That's nothing that uh, the person walking the dog has to worry about. Dixie, Finn, heel. Dixie, Finn, heel. notice I was silent that time. Um, when you first start to walk, you give the command either follow or heel so they know what uh, walking style they're supposed to be doing. Uh, after that, you can just remain silent. Heel.
<laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Okay, so I've got their four foot leashes, just a different sort of attachment. And I encourage every family to find out what walking equipment works best for them. Okay, Dixie sit. Dixie pin follow. I like four foot leashes instead of six foot leashes when you walk two dogs. A six foot is a lot to manage. Two of them at the same time. Four feet is just about right. You want to keep them close to you with two dogs. There's the additional weight of uh, them and a lot of uh, families when they're walking two dogs especially on the retractable leads the dogs can be out 20 or 30 feet depending on how long the retractables are uh, if they see a distraction and they're out 20 or 30 feet they're just going to keep going and possibly pull somebody down for an injury uh, with uh, Finn and Dixie they're completely uh, okay on their forefoot leash or their split attachment leash. They do remain close to me uh, regardless of whether or not I have the leashes and that's just through training with them over uh, their board and train program. Then Dixie follow. Okay, they were both trained to heal on the left side, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, with the follow command, because you can walk in front, behind, or to either side with that, and put one of them over on the other side, just a demonstration of a little bit different walking style. I'm going to put uh, Finn over here on my right hand side. Follow. And you can see he migrated back over to the left. Again, when I move from teaching the follow into the heel position, once a dog learns the heel position, they'll normally just follow on the left. Um, so they're pretty cool in terms of just walk, both wanting to be on the left. It allows you to hold both of the leashes in one hand. Your remote is in the other hand, so it works out perfectly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into the heel position. Dixie Finn heel. 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 And you notice I said heel three times. I'm going to go ahead and just tell them one time and then it's just going to be silence and they'll just make their movements. Dixie Finn heel. And there you go. It's such a pleasure to walk them. Okay, so I'm going to set them in the release command. Dixie Finn, break, break. <laughs> and you can do break on a four foot leash, six foot leash, off leash. Um, it doesn't matter where, when and where you use your release command. Finn come. Finn sit, wait. Dixie come. Dixie come, Dixie come, sit, wait, Finn wait, Dixie place.
spin come. Dixie come. Dixie come. Dixie come. Good. Spin Dixie place. Good boy, Finn. Good job. Quick. Dixie. Good boy, Finn. Quick. Dixie, quick. Good boy, Finn. Dixie. Good boy, Finn. Okay, offering her the other end to see if she wants to tug on it, but she looks at me like I really don't know what to do with it. <laughs> We are playing Dixie Finn. Break here. <laughs> and they'll jump at your clothes and all those things. So again, you have your commands, the conversation. So if uh, the jumping at the clothes and those sort of things, you can send a place. Or in Finn's case, when I stop, when my feet stop moving, he sits. And so does Dixie. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to our command training.